Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my candle collection video. So this is updated after SAS and I definitely bought a lot of candles at SAS, a lot of seasonal candles and then like a few candles that I'm burning right now. But yeah, my collection has definitely grown since before SAS. So I'll put up numbers like side by side at the end of how many candles I have now versus in May, I think was when I did my collection video. And I will link the collection video from May up here so you guys can watch that too. But yeah, <laughs> I laid them all out on my bed. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so as you can see, here's all the Bath & Body Works. And then I have a few Homeworks candles right here and a few single wicks. The only one that's not pictured right here is actually burning downstairs right now, and that is pineapple, toasted pineapple marshmallow. So that one is included in my collection, but I'm burning it right now, so I can't put it um, on this collection right now. But yeah, so let's start with Homeworks because I just did a recent order a couple months ago, and I bought four candles total. So the first one I bought is Hot Cider Donut. Really excited to have this one for the fall. I've heard great things about it. Mr. Kong's mom, uh, Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom, raves about it. She has like quite a few backups, and so I trusted her and bought this one. I also bought chocolate birthday cake because I've been craving a chocolate candle, and it does smell super good. I haven't had a chance to like fully have thoughts on it yet. I haven't burned it enough, but it does smell pretty good. And then limoncello cupcake is one that I'm burning right now. I'm actually really far down on it. Probably going to finish it in the next week, but this one smells absolutely amazing. It's just like a yummy kind of vanilla-y lemon scent. Super good. And then this one right here, I'm going to have to separate from the others because it will make a bunch of noise, is Raspberry Linzer Cookie, which has fragrance notes of fresh raspberry almond cream and brown sugar and baked cookie. This one is such a good scent. It's like a sophisticated raspberry cookie. It is so, like dynamic of a scent it's absolutely gorgeous and i'm so happy that i got this so this one i've been loving i don't know if these actually have oh they all have notes on it i'm sorry let's do the notes of them so hot cider donut is harvest apple cinnamon sugar vanilla bean and spiced cider chocolate birthday cake is dark and milk chocolate espresso powder warm vanilla and whipped cream and limoncello cupcake is limoncello, Sicilian lemons, candied lemons, creamy vanilla, and baked cupcake. So yeah, those are my four homeworks candles, and I do plan on getting more probably once I burn through a few of these. A few of these though, and then here's my Bath and Body Works collection. As you can tell, I have mainly fall and winter scents because that's what I purchased at SAS, and I'm like stocking up for this upcoming season. So the ones that aren't seasonal are right here. So first I have Pink Petal Tea Cake, which I'm currently um, trying to work through. It's honestly not my favorite scent, but it is still pretty good. I have a review on this if you're interested, but it is Pink Rose Petals, Pound Cake, and Vanilla Glaze. I'm just not the biggest rose fan, so it's not my favorite candle, but it is really nice. I have Coconut Sandalwood, which is actually in my Project Wax right now, so I'm currently trying to get through it. Um, the notes are coconut palm, luxurious sandalwood, jasmine, and then I can't read the rest because the <laughs> label's blocking it. But it's a really, really nice, like, fresh and clean scent, so super good. And then strawberry pound cake from the New Year's collection that I picked up at SAS. It was, I think, $8 or $5. Fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. You guys know strawberry pound cake. She's that girl. So good. So yummy. Great. Any time of your candle. And then here's all of my fall candles. Oh, sorry. Here's all my fall candles. I have five. So first is pumpkin pecan waffles, which I'm so excited to burn this fall. Maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. Just like a really nice syrupy scent. It's super nostalgic for me. It reminds me of when I used to live with my roommates in college because they burn this candle all the time and I just love it. Next one is pumpkin donut shop from last year. Scent notes are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, sprinkled with powdered sugar. This one is one of my absolute favorites from Bath & Body Works. It just smells like a powdered sugar donut. It's so yummy. I'm probably going to break this one out soon to like introduce fall, but I think this is the last time that they will bring out Pumpkin Donut Shop because they brought this out as an online exclusive last year, which usually means they won't bring it out again next year. So they probably won't have it out for 2022. Really sad about that because I love it. 
but I will definitely enjoy this one this um, fall. And then I have Banana Walnut Muffin, also from last year. They are already bringing this back. I think it's an online exclusive. The notes are Sweet Banana, Golden Nutmeg, and Cinnamon Sugar Muffin. Actually, I think it is already online. This one, honestly, is not my favorite. It kind of reminds me of uh, Sweet Carrot Cake. It's just almost too cinnamony for me, so I'm going to have to wait till the fall to burn this one. Um, and I think it'll actually be really good in my kitchen. I just, I don't know, it's like almost too cloying for me. So, I don't know. Not my favorite one. I know a lot of people love it, though. And then I have these two, which I just picked up at SAS. White Pumpkin, which is one of my favorites. The notes on this are Ginger White Pumpkin, Caramel Glaze, and Warm Blended Spices. Such a yummy scent. It is just, I think, a quintessential fall scent. It basically smells like inside of Hobby Lobby. If you know what that smells like during the fall, that's what it smells like to me. And then Harvest Gathering, which the scent notes are Fresh Picked Apple, Autumn Berries, and Clove Buds. Also a really great, just quintessential fall scent. Just, oh, so yummy. Kind of reminds me of like leaves. Um, it's just a, a classic scent. It is so like super spicy and like that uh, apple and berry. It's like cranberry. It's so good. Perfect for like November. And then for winter, I have these six right here. So first is Hot Cocoa and Cream, which I picked up at SAS. It's Decadent Milk Chocolate Fresh Steamed Milk and Mini Marshmallows. I love this one. Um, I actually had it in Hot Cocoa and Scream a few years ago for uh, Halloween and really loved it during the fall. So I'm going to plan on burning this during the fall. It's just like a really nice Swiss Miss kind of scent. And then Peppermint Sugar Cookie. I also got this one at SAS. I think it was $8 as well. Crushed Peppermint, Vanilla Extract, Creamy Butter, and Soft Sugar Cookies. Such a yummy gourmand peppermint scent as you can see i actually burned this a couple weeks ago because i was sick and it made me feel really good it made me feel super cozy so such a yummy yummy scent i love it and then we have give warmth marble chocolate cupcake scent notes are sweet cocoa milk chocolate topped with vanilla glaze i actually saved this one from uh, 2021 because it is such a light thrower so i'm gonna have to use this up in the candle crock eventually but i just haven't gotten to it yet and this one from the same collection is Give Hope Peppermint Marshmallow. Um, this one I also got at SAS. It's crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. I think this one was like $5 actually. Such a yummy scent. This is one of my favorites every year. It is just a beautiful, light, sweet marshmallow. If you've ever had, like they come out with those Jiffy marshmallows every year that are peppermint flavored. They're like pink. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells so yummy. It's a super light thrower. I'm definitely gonna have to like put this on the candle crock because it's gonna be too light to burn, but it is so, so yummy and so worth it. And then I have Red Velvet Cupcake from this past um, candle day. Notes are Lush Red Velvet Cake, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Sweet Vanilla. This one is also one of the ones like Banana Walnut Muffin that's almost too sweet for me. Yeah, it's super, I think it's the cream cheese frosting, honestly, that does it for me. So I'm going to have to wait till the fall to burn this one, but I think I will burn it in fall because that's what it makes me think of, honestly. And then the last one is peppermint hot chocolate. Scent notes are cool peppermint, silky milk chocolate, and sweet cream. This one is also another one of my favorites for the wintertime. It's basically Swiss Miss um, hot cocoa, just like hot cocoa and cream, but with the same peppermint and peppermint sugar cookie. So... Oh, it is such a yummy chocolate peppermint scent. It's so, so good. And I'm so happy that I found this at SAS for a good deal. So that's it for all of my three wicks. And then I have two single wicks right now. I'm actually not really buying single wicks anymore. Um, the only one I have left from Bath & Body Works is Aromatherapy Stress Relief. And I have this one um, in my project, Use It Up. I've been using it every now and then just to relax upstairs in the bedroom. So this is really the only single wick that I would buy again is like an aromatherapy kind of scent to relax at nighttime. And then I have this random one from DW Homes in Dinner Roll. It like popped off on Instagram last year, this one. And then a, it was like a whole Thanksgiving collection and they had like Thanksgiving feast. They had stuffing. Um, they had a few other ones that I can't remember, but they were all like themed around Thanksgiving. And this one really does smell like a dinner roll. It's like bready. It's kind of crazy, but it doesn't actually have a scent when burning. So I think I'm just going to use this in the fall for like 
the vibe of burning a candle, but not necessarily smelling it at all. So yeah, this one, I have to say the DW Homes candles in single wick form are really poor throwers, but in three wick form and two wick form are actually really good. So just saying, don't buy the single wicks, even though they're $7.99 at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods, they're not worth it. So just saying. Okay, so that is my entire candle collection. I'll put up numbers right here. Um, this is how many uh, three wicks I have right now versus May. And I'm also going to include the Homeworks ones in that as well, just like full size candles. And then here's how many single wicks I have now compared to May. So right now I only have two, which I'm doing pretty good on those because I'm, like I said, not focusing on using those anymore. So really just focusing on full size candles from now on. So yeah, I am always working through my three wick collection. I have a Project Wax, which is basically a project use it up, but for candles that I have ongoing every single month. So check out that. I'll link the playlist up above if you're interested in seeing what I'm burning right now. But I am consistently going through like three to four candles a month. So I'm really good with, I feel I'm really good with my candle collection right now. And I do still wanna buy some for fall. I actually already have a few on my mind that I'm gonna pick up soon pumpkin peanut brittle being one because I'm obsessed with her and I do plan on getting some fall candles from Goose Creek soon so yeah not really like concerned with the size of my collection just because I know I'll get through it but that is how my collection is doing right now so yeah that is everything for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video bye guys